Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kiki and today we are gonna keep playing Outer Wilds because I was having so much fun last time and I am honestly really wanting to go back and keep playing and keep exploring. For example, last time I was just about to discover something but I all of a sudden exploded along the sand. <laughs> and I am curious to see what was written in there. Hi Kiki, I may not be here for the full stream since I have to work soonish. Oh, that's so okay. I really appreciate you coming here though. Thank you so much for taking a bit of a, a while. For taking a bit of a while? I don't know how to speak. For taking a bit of your time. <laughs> Brave! Welcome, Brave! How are you doing, Father of Light and Father of All? <laughs> I'm gonna hydrate, actually. Thank you so much for that redeem. Wait, I'm gonna open... There we go. Also, wait, because I lack my trusty controller. There we go. <laughs> How are you, Brave? How is life treating you? <laughs> Let's see what we discovered. Something called Sun Station. And you know how we discovered this? Just before dying in the sand planet, in the ash twin, <laughs> when I was running for my life, but it worked. Then I might build something called the Sun Station, but not everyone supported its construction. I guess that we have to see more of it. And I'm gonna guess that this is um, sort of the little construction that is just in the sun. And we, for some reason, can't get because it's super super duper fast yo careful 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 i was trying to see the sun there it is our deadly friend how about we don't explode yeah nice nice what is this by the way oh that's the moon that's the moon now we are properly in a space. And as much as I love a lovely sunny day, I believe that it may be too much. That thing, I think that is the sun station, but how to get there without getting consumed by the sun? The sun. Can we get that? Can we land on that thing? You know, as I am starting the stream, let's choose that as our main objective. I guess that we're gonna have to use gravity in our favor. Being careful, of course. Um, I am getting farther away. Way farther than I would like to. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. That's it, that's it, we're getting close. The other tactic we could follow is to get sort of close-ish to the sun. Not too much, not too much, not too much. And try to land somehow I'm getting too close aren't I but that thing is too close too the thing is don't burn something like over there like you mean in game or in Spain <laughs> I turn orange too I turn like a flashlight Jesus Christ no 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 too close too close buddy too close Oh, where you are? Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Too close. Too close. Too close. But that's fine. That's fine. I am like a torch. I'm like a lamp. Moth, moth time. Please don't. Please don't. No. <laughs> Stop. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm flying upwards. No. <laughs> uh, uh. Ah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think, you know, the person that followed me last stream basically told me, I remember their advice, like if something is hard, it's probably because you need more info rather than um, more skill. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a short run, it seems. Yeah, yeah, sort of. I, I'm convinced that this is the sun station, but the thing is, how the fuck do you get there without being swallowed by the sun? Because of course the sun is gonna have gravity. Insane gravity, that is. Um, let's go to our dear friend, Brittle Hello, and try to go to the South Pole focused on going to the South Pole Observatory. <coughs> I wasn't able to enter not even once in all of these runs. So at some point I will have to be able to enter. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, I believe this part might be easier to enter. Yeah. Come on, let's go down, softly, swiftly, land there. Perfect! <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Also, as a lot of you may know already, because I've been japping about it and how annoying it is, I have a bit of an annoying cough. That means that I may have to interrupt the stream sometimes to, of course, cough, and <coughs> if I ha if I mute myself, it's probably because it's getting like ugly sort of coughing. So please forgive me. Is this gonna fall if I step on it? Ooh, I I believe it's not a great idea <coughs> to show over there. Uh, let's sort of, yeah, descend carefully, oh so carefully, and also sort of going rather fast, because we know this crumbles to dust fairly easy, and it's not fun. South, how are we going to the south? That is south. Let's try to go to the south observatory. Okay, before everything crumbles to dust. Also, let's, let's see this, actually. Did I see this before? I don't think I've seen this before. The shuttle's currently restating, resting at the quantum moon. Huh? Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Call it home. Ooh, okay. I think that's new. I think that's new. I would like to go there. I would like to go there. Yes, yes. And it seems of easy access. So yeah, let's get in there before the gravity of the black hole does its thing and pulls very hard, way too hard. At this and it starts breaking the planet apart. Yeah, nice, oxygen. I am here! After watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As suspected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the reminder of my journey on foot. The remainder, sorry. Well, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> we don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. That's just that it is true. As a child, I considered such a known sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is and we are. I am ready. Oh my gosh. So you can actually land on it, though? What does it do if I do this? Are we ascending? Are we moving? No, we're not. Okay, that's cool. Now we are moving. Wait, we will land. Will we land in the quantum moon? Oh, that would be dope. That would be amazing. I don't really know where are we going. I know that we can go home at 
I guess, any moment. Will this go to where we want to go? Distress beacon. Where are we going? Brother. Are you going nowhere? Are you just in space going in random directions or do you have a purpose? Um You know, let's go back home. I don't really want to waste too much time. Yeah. Before everything breaks. Um Yeah. <laughs> Is the other game really low or is it mute? Give me, let me... Why is it mute? It was muted! Jesus, thank you so much for letting me know! <coughs> I don't know why! Did I mute this myself? It's probably a misclick. Of, or something. It's probably... Me... Misclicking stuff. The crossroads... I mean, I want to go to the South Pole. Do we have to go upwards? Like, in that path? I guess. I guess. Darky, can you hear the game now? Uh, it should be a nice, lovely volume. So you should be able to hear the game properly now. Nice. Thank you, as always. Ooh, yeah, let's go. Let's go before everything starts to get funky in here. <laughs> it will happen at some point, but yeah. Where do we have to go? I think last time we went there and didn't really go well. Um, so I'm gonna go to the right this time. Just a bit farther. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> nice. Nice. Now, how do we go? Can I jump? Whoop. There we go. My ship is sort of safe or safe fish. Sort of. If I want to go there. Uh ah. Oh, I can use that. All right. Okay. I guess we're going on the right track. And I have to use my jetpack. Yes. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm finally Am I finally going to get there? Question mark. <laughs> This is always scary, because I don't know where to go. But I guess these lights will guide me. But the room move and I am cooked. So... Woo! Yeah, follow the lights. In this case, following the lights is pretty much recommended. Um, I've been here before! I've been here before, yeah! Yeah, I've been, I've been. Okay! Okay, let's um try to do our best. Let's jump. And I can't get there. The thing is, try not to fall. What if we jump here? It's a bit icy, but... Okay. <laughs> what if I jump to the top of this tree first? Okay. Okay, that's better. I use the impulse. I got there. I got it. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. I got it. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, such opportunities for Kiki the Explorer. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Wait a second. Don't waste. Ah, there's something wrong with the controller. What? Oh, ah, I, I, oh, oh, I have to jump there. Will I be able to do it without dying? There's only one way of trying. <gasps> oh my gosh, I am here. I'm here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you seeing this? I'm here. I'm finally here. Oh, so long we have tried to get here. 
all this time. This is what's used to stop the watery planet, Jajan's Deep. Oh, wait. A spam call. Spam is calling. No, no, we have an epic thing to do. These lights play funny with your model. <laughs> I wasn't looking. Uh. Conway, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sunk down beneath the current. Kazava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we are very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Aspire constructed a model of Genius Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? You should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink. Okay. If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, at the Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Thank you. Now, should we put this here? What is this? We've been here before! Yes, 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 we've been here before. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> Ooh, it's scary! We have to turn you off! Construction Yard has been using the cyclones at on Jajan's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, by but one component was pushed down. The Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update is now clear are two different types of cyclone. Both cyclones and Jajan's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassava typically, typically uses to, um, to send components. A rare type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the currents. My girl to the spire, can I showing me? Okay. Okay! So... Now we know how to get in the bottom part. The one rotating clockwise is the one that will push us up. But the one rotating counterclockwise, I'm gonna guess this one, if I'm not dumb. As we know who I am. Um, I should be able to go all the way down the planet. Is this counterclockwise? I think this is counterclockwise. Like rotating to the right. The ones rotating to the left are the ones that will lift you up. Okay, so the ones are the models. These ones are the models. And I don't know what this is. Oh, a bit of <laughs> a bit of scary if you ask me. What if I take this? Will this do anything? Nope. I don't think. Hey, oh Yeti! Welcome, welcome! I'm finally at the South Observatory! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Can you like drop this? Thank you! Finally I got here! With so much effort! Ooh, the door! I did it! I put the ship down safely! Um, in that the ship went down, I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never hit those rocks. One of my better attempts felt spar but barely la have laughed at me. That's the good news. The bad news, I haven't uh, found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance. By now, if it were one. Probably. I found it. <laughs> Nice! More info, more info! That is the ship! And this door was closed! Clockwise is rotating right to the left and counter is left to the right. Thank you so so much for that information that will be extremely useful for this run. This run is being rather productive except for the little incidents in the beginning. <laughs> um, Basically, we I tried to land into a thing that was close to the sun, and I got swallowed, of course. What is this? I, before touching anything, I should read. You know, because this could do a whole lot of things, and this is important. What have we learned thus far in our research for the eye of the universe? Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye- <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. They signaled to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atul Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware I grew up hearing the eye's story. Yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on your knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in its orbit around this star system sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Are these... What are these? Oh! So this is Jajan's Deep, right? Like, these are sort of constellations? Like... This is Brittle Hollow, I'm guessing. No, that is uh, Dark Bramble. That is rotating something. What if I lift these two at the same time? Oh, it's showing a map! And what is this? The eye! Or the quantum moon, but I'm guessing it's the eye. It's trying to guess where the eye is coming from. What if we lift everything at once? What will it do? Whoop. Whoop. Before everything sinks. It's enormous! The eye of the universe! That sounds worse, but it's... Look at this area! It's crazy! It's trying to locate the eye, but it can't! Rest down, soldier. Rest up! Wake up, soldier. I wanna read this thing. Wake up, honey. Unable to determine ex orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Yep. This is a table, but it looks like a tomb. Huh? Ooh. Sound. <laughs> okay. How much do our mythos change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know that the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around the celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Legends Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Let's build the cannon in orbit around Jajan's Deep. As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method, so they couldn't see the eye by searching the image itself. Uh, I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Remy and Pai about the technology they're developing? Hmm? Okay, more logs updated. The sun is getting sort of reddish. Or red, aka quite dangerous. So we better not try to do anything important. What I can do right now is to keep exploring, basically. <coughs> oh, sorry. My bad. Um, to keep exploring this planet, to keep finding all the stories I am able to find. Uh, yeah. Our lovely adventure in the water planet in Jajan's Deep, it's gonna be rather scary, but it's gonna be fun. This is... Okay. This is from the guy in this planet. Unknown. Yeah, the guy there. With the lovely banjo. So, no, I'm not gonna do the same mistakes on fall because, oh look, it's funny because we know how that ends and usually not in a good way. But, you know, I can 
circumvent being swallowed by the gravity gun. I will either get smacked too hard and die, or I will have to teleport. And I don't have much fuel left, but I will try. I never stop trying to land using the gravity. Oh, oh, hey! I did it! I landed! Non-believers! Non-believers shall fall to the princess's adventures! To the princess's skills! No! Okay, non-believers shall be right. <laughs> but we have a way to circumvent this little problem. Don't panic. Especially me. What is this? Those are gravity crystals, right? Ouch! Yep. Yep, these are gravity crystals. Okay, that's rather surprising. What are you doing here? Well, obviously they got swallowed by it, but is there something here that it might be worth exploring? There's something. The more you know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Slow. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, darling, dear, boo. Don't hurt yourself, okay? Don't... Okay. Cool! <clears throat> nice. The only bad thing is I'm gonna run out of fuel, and once I run out of fuel, it's gonna take oxygen instead, but it's fine. The pain of your absence... Yeah, we've read that. Very sad. Very, very sad. And where's my ship? It says it's rather close. Wait, let me... E yeah, it's not close. Not close at all. <laughs> oh gosh, my laugh sounds so ugly. <coughs> but in my defense, it's because of the call. This silly, silly coughing. Ooh, that thing looks interesting. Let the gravity take us. Now. There we go. Magical, magical. Okay. It's fine. It's fine, we are learning. We are learning things. And the sun is very scary. But once again, that's cool. That's fine. And new things will get the speed by the white hole. No, it's not saying it's close at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what would be cool? Amazing? If my ship was a spit. Oh, it's taking oxygen now, right? What if I stay... No, it's taking oxygen anyway. Wait, what if I match the velocity? Will I stop consuming oxygen? No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's still consuming oxygen in a rather fast... Three minutes fuel depleted using oxygen as propellant. Okay, okay, I get it. Let's make the most of this. I'm sorry, buddy. I know you have low oxygen. I am sorry, little buddy. It's okay. It's fine. Lies, you love this sound ugly. I mean, just now. There we go. <coughs> just now because I'm I'm rather sick, but that's fine. <laughs> like <you will. coughs> I'm gonna hydrate once again, if you allow me. Now we know. I don't know how much more I will have to come back to Brittle Hollow. But we're gonna go to Jetons Deep. And I think I will have to go back to Brittle Hollow because I I need to go to the Hanging City, whatever that is. That elevator thingy. 
Yeah, breathe, boy. It's fine. <laughs> Let me hide it real quick. I know I've been playing this a lot, but in my defense, I am having fun with this game. <laughs> but the thing is, I am wondering what kind of game can I play uh, after this one? That can be as fun to watch, as clippable, and as entertaining for me as this one. I was thinking that perhaps Bioshock can do the trick. Perhaps. Quantum Moon. Tornado Simulation, Southern Observatory. We have all that info. Nice! So... Solanum's shuttle. An Omai named Solanum landed her shuttle at the Quantum Moon South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the Quantum Moon always arrive to the South Pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. Well, I only know I tried to land on the moon and basically crossed it like it was just a mountain of gas. Probably because I took my eyes off it. So I will probably have to just, you know, um, use the shuttle myself. Where is our lovely Jenjens Deep? Are you Jenjens Deep? What if I take my eyes off you? It was the Quantum Moon. I mean, we're kind of looking for you. If I use my ship, I won't be able to go there, right? Like, I am just gonna traverse the moon again, I guess. And it's gonna disappear, yeah out of my sight okay so as Darky said clockwise is rotating right to left and counterclockwise is left to right that's what we are gonna look for in this planet we are gonna enter it's gonna be as scary as heck um but we have to get swallowed by a tornado okay that rotates left to right that's right to left right to left right to left i think that's right to left too i think that one in the back that one in the back is rotating left to right this one this one this one i think i, I will try let's go push me down There we go! There we go! There we go! This is it! This is it! Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, what is this? It's a scary, it's a scary, it's a scary. What is this? What is this? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Will my ship Oh it's electricity! No 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 Don't touch Don't touch This is This is Oh my gosh What is this? How is it called in English? I've completely forgot out of nervousness. Um, jellyfish! This is a jellyfish! Electric stuff! How can I? How can I? Oh my god, this is so exciting! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Will I get hurt if I go? Mm -hmm. ah, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm gonna guess if the ship was damaged, I'm gonna get even worse myself. Um, electrical systems damaged. Then how the heck do I enter? Um, there's a jellyfish there. That's a jellyfish over there too. Uh, we're in the core and it worked. Will they get pushed up? What if you two stop touching this thing? Does it stop from being electrical? Is there any more jellyfishes that need to not touch the core? I'm not entirely sure how this works, and it's rather scary. You're not touching the core, but this is pretty much electric. There's many more of them. There's more of them. Uh, is there a signal? Anything? There's something quantum related. Mm. 
Let's go around it. Yeah? There is this darkest spot that I'm not entirely sure what it is, but... Mm -hmm. Ah! Are those jellyfishes? That is a jellyfish! Question mark? Is that a jellyfish? It looks like one. It is one, definitely it is one. It's birthing jellyfishes. Jellyfishes are getting out from here. I, I, I'm not sure how I... How do I get inside or what do I do with this information? Ah, oh. These are the islands that are ahead, like up there. Ah, any advice would be nice? <laughs> um, sure. Something sunk, and now we sunk. I got no clue. Okay. Everything is dark. Nothing works. I have to get out. I'm not getting out. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not getting out. Can I repair it? No, no, no. <coughs> oh, sorry. That was loud, probably. Let's go again. I don't know. We have nothing to lose at this point. Let's go again. Nope. Reactor damaged. Okay. Look, if I go out, it's gonna be even a scarier. <laughs> Quantum was mentioned. Quantum was indeed mentioned. So, uh, do I have to get up, basically? Get out of this planet? Current? Probably. Ah! What? What did hit me? What? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Humbuckle? What is happening? <laughs> is this getting full of water? What? It broke in half! It's broke in half! It broke in motherfucking half! My sheep was cut in half for some reason. Okay! Okay! I can get there. I can get there. I can get here. Sort of safe-ish. <laughs> yeah, that's my ship. It doesn't even mark anymore where my ship is. We are getting lifted up. But it's... It should be safe. Question mark. <laughs> We will sink down again. It's fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's okie dokie. Ooh. Alright, see? Bag on Earth. Okay. <laughs> Rather a scary situation. So I can't really take a look right now at my. And my computer because my ship was cut in half. Ah! Okay, good. <laughs> Not good. Okay, this is scary. Why is scarier than I would like? <laughs> Why is my. Uh, my jetpack not collaborating with me? It's not jumping as much as it should. <laughs> I don't know, perhaps I was used to the gravity. Little hollow, and I got like way too excited. Your ship is gone due to it exploding. Sorry to tell you this. Yes, it's okay, Darky. I understand it exploded, but I am excited to have accomplished such a feature. Huh. What do you find? Mm. There we go. It worked. Nice. A statue workshop. I would like to get inside here. Did we get inside there? You say hello, you say how are you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome to Chaos Insured. <laughs> we discovered how to enter the 
core of this planet, but it's electric and rather painful. <laughs> so yeah. But we will see eventually results. This is swallowed by the sand. Hmm, can we get teleported here if we fall ever? What is this for? Hmm. What is that for? Oh, we've been there. That is the construction yard thingy, right? No, it's not. We <coughs> oh, sorry. We haven't been there. How do I get there? They're going to test the, mem the memory status tonight. It would be dangerous so we couldn't come, but we if we didn't use the door and it's not in other way. Mm. Told us not to do that. Not to do what exactly? <laughs> they wanted to snuck in. Hmm. Doors. How do we sneak in? I mean, we have some time until the sun explodes and becomes super deadly and dangerous. She got it chucked deep in the water, then the reactor said it was damaged and well, boom! Yeah, that's that's basically the sum of it indeed. <laughs> Very funny! <laughs> Very funny! Day 1999. I'm starting to get crazy and see spinning shit everywhere. I'm thirsty, so I didn't drink. So I did drink salt water. It tastes like my tears. <laughs> Are you writing a book? <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, yes. Yes. It's. Oh, gosh. It's a scary to get in those tornadoes. We had to get in those tornadoes. In one of them, at least. To go deep down to the core of the damned planet. But now we have to kill some time. And how are we gonna kill some time? Snacking deep down there. But the thing is, how the fuck do we get that? You know, that's incredible. That is one of those teleporting stations. Ooh, trees detected. Nice. What is this? Please? No reading? Alrighty! No reading. Is there something we can use in here? Hey, there's text! Welcome to Genjan's Day, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. But how do you get there? That's what we are going to try to find out. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak from here. Nope. Let's go back. Let's go back. You know, this game is about these sort of things. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just have to be careful. I hate I hate the sound. What? Did you see that? Why is it? These are gravity tubes. What? It's the first time I see them. So basically, if you get launched, you can get in one of these? So you don't go and get pushed around? Let's get in here. I guess this is like protection, so you don't drift away in space. What the actual heck? Oh, I love it. <laughs> you can use the tubes to keep you safe. Yes! For one. Huh? I used this before, right? This is where I came from, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we know what those glowing things are. But I have to know how to get inside of the workshop. No! Don't fall there, thank you. That's a massive tornado. 
It's rotating uh, left. It's rotating right to left. No, never mind. I thought mm, if that big tornado is rotating counterclockwise, can we use it to push down, farther down? But no, I don't think it will work that way. So let's try to think like an Omai. Omai came over here and wanted to go down there somehow. And there must be a door. Somehow. Somewhere. A door to the statue workshop we just saw. Relax, in rain. I'm sure that people who built homes there were very intelligent instead of going to another planet. <laughs> Thank you for the headpads. Thank you so much. But yeah, I believe that too. Like, they weren't really that smart if they decided to build houses here. Like, workshops, laboratories, I understand. Because they serve a purpose. But houses? Where you had to build these sort of weird tubes to keep you safe from, you know, lifting into space. I don't think that was very smart of you. <coughs> but hey! Also, I'm wondering something. If they died because they are extinct, why? Wait, I saw lights and got scared. Like, mm. like why the loop doesn't revive them, you know? Let's fall here. Oh! That fall was small! What do you mean? That fall was small! What did you die? Why did you die? No! <coughs> but hey, we have our ship back! It's okay! Gravity was way too much. Oh, Jesus! True, how our planets change over time. That's right. Breathe, my boy. Huh. <laughs> the protagonist said, huh. <laughs> I know it so much. Ooh, sweet hydration. Also, crunch. Yes. Ah, the crunchy sound of we getting crushed. Absolutely perfect. Not creepy at all. <coughs> Okay, let me see my computer real quick, like the ship's computer, to see the information. Because we are so close of doing a lot of progress, and we are making a lot of progress, heck! Okay, so... The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Construction yard. Um, for some reason, the Domai put the orbital probe cannon on indefinitely hiatus. The cannon was not asked to fire. According to the Domai computer, a long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital probe cannon. We have to probably go here again, but it's broken. The broken remains of an Domai space station in orbit around Jetons Deep. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. Control module received a request from the Ashtwin project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage. Uh huh. Launch module. One of the orbital probe cannon's three models. The launch module looks heavily damaged. There's a huge breach in the glass viewport. The launch module's viewport window is fractured, exposing it to the vacuum of space. Ah. Uh Receiving data from the launched probe, and all my computer reports the probe tracking module as a missing. So, probably if we want to surpass the electric current, because getting there is easy, the hard part is how the heck are we gonna traverse that? Frozen jellyfish. Wait, that's right! Feldspar documented their attempts to eat this enormous frost jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting sapped by electricity. Felds we Feldspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better on the inside. 
After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. So, insulation from electricity. But as far as I'm concerned, there is no way we can get a big frozen jellyfish and get it to cover our ship with that. <laughs> so I'm rather lost in here. Um, yeah. We could go to Phil's Park Camp. It's rather scary, in my opinion, to go back to see him. But we are able to. But there's like no arrows, but no, no arrows pointing this to any of this. I am a bit confused. If I am honest, a statue workshop. Wait a second. Ah, uh, next a broken door that used to lead inside the island. Some know my children debated bypassing the statue's workshop door and sneaking inside via an alternate, more dangerous route. I can see into a large cave from the one of the ruins on top of the island. The bottom of the cave is filled with water. So, one of the possibilities to enter the statue workshop would be entering the inside of the planet, but instead of going to the core of the planet and getting sapped by the electricity, we could Take a look around and see how to go to the statue workshop, workshop. Because if you know, the statues are the ones that are bringing us back to life. Do you want to try? Do you think it's sensible to do it? Guys? You have to think with jellies. <laughs> For now, I think I will try getting to the statue workshop. <clears throat> Where is our watery planet? That's the moon, the twins, the big scary fucking sun, Brittle Hollow, our complicated timed. There we go! And that's the quantum moon. I want to land on the quantum moon, but that little motherfucker. The moment we take the eyes of it. It disappears. Once again, I'll try to land on it. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I think if I want to be able to go here, I will have to go back to Brittle Hollow and get into the probe. Wow! Wait! <laughs> Abort autopilot! What are you doing? Much velocity. Okay, how about we go slow? Yes! Yeah, you see? We traversed it! How the heck did it land? We have to use the shuttle. Probably. Oh well, remember? Tornado, cyclone that rotates left to right. That's what we are looking for. Left to right. Left to right. The one in the back, I think. I think this one will push us deep. Okay, big boy! Push me down! Success! Easy peasy. Now we're looking for the cave. Don't look, don't even try to go to the core. Uh, yes! Is this the cave? <gasps> the workshop! It is the workshop! Success! my brain amazing brain unbuckle yes 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 ah, we're getting launched go back to the ship yes we're getting launched into space not even this workshop is free from that let's wait here safely until we can you know we are going down we are going down Buckle up, just in case. There we go. And buckle. Perfect. It could be worse. Am I right? Door opened. I think a shortcut in case it's needed. Um. Oh, sorry. 
my ugly coughing attacks once again. And statues! These are the normal statues that are giving us back to the loop. Oh, I thought I was about to fall. And we have this gravity protection thingy. Jero, would you kindly step back to so Das is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is closest in proximity. See how its eyes have opened. That tells us the statue has paired with Das. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Das' statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Tree project. This is extraordinary sculpting work. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Astrin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those storage memories back to the corresponding Nomai. That's how they work. That's how they work. Nice. Yep. A statue. No, this is an Nomai. They look like goats. Weird three eyed goats. Yeah, okay. So this is what we see when we die. So it's a mask. That's basically giving the memories back. Okay. That's bright, like inc incredibly nice information. Making sus noises. What noises? <laughs> um, go there. I think we stole the mask inside the Ash Twin project. They look beautiful. Although I feel like as I'm being observed. It's comforting to know that the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a, safe, as a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. <coughs> will they? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and unable to f enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific way. Fade up would be. Oh, yeah, right? Imagine relieving your death over and over again. Eee, that's my mask. I'm guessing. I'm guessing there's people alive. So there's either people alive that are paired with these things. Oh yeah, there, there's me. There's like this other Nomai that no one know. Another one of us, friendly alien that's also paired and remembers dying over and over again. And there's someone else that also remembers that is either alive or remembering over and over again. There's something there. Let me see if I can get my ship to take a look at that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Hop, hop, hop. <coughs> oh, sorry. Ah, it's low, it's low. Okay, soft, soft, soft. Okay, how about we rotate there? I wanna go there. There we go. There we go. Mm. Yeah, nice! <laughs> Flawless! <laughs> Flawless! Did I land where I wanted to land? No, I didn't! <laughs> no, I didn't! But I can repair this! Nice! <laughs> this is more chaotic than I would like to. Okay, let's try again, shall we? Please rotate. Not in the water. There! Just a bit. There! I think. Woo! Did I get where I wanted to go? I think. Maybe? <laughs> we were there. No, I didn't get where I wanted to go. This is confusing. I want to go there, but it's rather high. Perhaps it might not be possible to go with my ship, so I'm gonna go by foot. 
because it's rather a narrow space, so I think that perhaps through jumping and... No, it's not gonna be possible. It's way too high! Let's go back to the ship! I thought it would be possible, perhaps, to do some sort of trick to get up there. Not without the ship. So are you telling me that two children of this alien race basically said we wanna sneak in the um, statue workshop and we're gonna take a dangerous route to it and so the kids went underwater there we're gonna we go okay okay careful a bit higher a bit higher It's too too narrow. It's too narrow. I have a silly idea, but it might be too silly. Let me go here first of all, and now float in there. Here. If I float here... Mm, there I go! Success! Ouch! Vitals critical? As long as you hold on, buddy. There we go! It worked! It worked! I'm fine with that. <coughs> I'm curious, is sending a being's memory back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they are two different actions. Wouldn't both be actions effectively the same? Be the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe that is different than receiving memories from what it's effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? <laughs> well... <clears throat> Well, it was good information. It wasn't as critical. Huh? Huh? <laughs> My ship! It's broken again! It's not even signaling where my ship is, so it broke again. Yay! Youch! <laughs> Why this planet? The gravity is so silly! It wasn't that much! It wasn't that much. <laughs> and I die. Great! <coughs> oh, sorry. Crunch. <laughs> oh, of course, left alone, it would have gone the way of the double bird. <laughs> it's so silly. It's so silly, but it's so fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, guys, thank you everyone for keeping me company. I think I'll leave the stream over here. And tomorrow, no stream, but let's see the day after tomorrow. Um, I'll keep you updated. Well, see you guys very, very soon. Whoop.